Thanks, David. The man behind the racially charged billboards that outrage people across the country says he plans to put up many more. News Channel 9's James Torres attended congressional candidate Rick Tyler's news conference this afternoon. He joins us now live to tell us what Tyler had to say. James. Latricia Calvin, I'm standing off of Highway 411 here in Polk County, where once stood the Make America White Again billboard. It's been removed since then. This is the same spot where Rick Tyler held a press conference this afternoon to discuss those billboards, as well as the future of his congressional campaign. He had a lot to say this afternoon, and people against him had a lot to say to him as well. Rick Tyler is a District 3 candidate for the U.S. House of Representatives. He is also the creator of the Make America White Again billboard in Polk County. That sign brought out this response from residents. It made me very uncomfortable that we could be associated with such hateful rhetoric. Tyler began today's conference about the billboard campaign, expressing his frustrations for having them taken down. I'm going to erect a cross like people do when there's a traffic fatality where they commemorate the loss of a loved one in an accident. I intend to put up a cross that will say, rest in peace, First Amendment. Tyler also spoke about the Second Amendment. He pulled out an unloaded gun as a statement, saying the government will never take them away from its citizens. Today, we heard from the NAACP chapter in Bradley County. They say they, quote, find Rick Tyler's comments deplorable. We urge all citizens of goodwill to reject such vile viewpoints, and we encourage the voters of Bradley and Polk counties to hold him accountable at the ballot box. Tyler says he wants the country to return to the time of the 60s when people never worried about crime. A Polk County resident approached him for an explanation. Are you aware that that was when segregation was in full effect? Uh, voluntary segregation is definitely what I would like. Mandatory integration is an evil thing, and our founding fathers would have never tolerated it. This all happened after Tyler urged in his conference that he could not be described as a racist. It seems that nobody can define racism in a coherent, systematically applied manner. Now, Tyler says he's going to purchase a tour bus in July. That bus is intended to drive around District 3 communities. On either side of that will be the billboards that have been displayed around Polk County. Reporting live from Polk County, James Torres, News Channel 9. James, thank you. Tyler says his campaign has been funded by several, quote, impressive donations that have come through his website. He says he is confident that he has a shot of winning the election.